Okay, so we're back working on this uh, 2010 Chrysler 300 with the rear wheel speed sensor signals missing on both sides. But this car consistently sets a fault code for the left speed sensor, so I've got a new part here. And I've got a Dorman part for the left side and a standard Blue Streak part for the right side because for whatever reason they couldn't source two Dorman ones. And I'm going to plug in the left speed sensor before installing it because I should be able to just plug it in and the code should clear if it's actually the sensor that's at fault. I've tested the wiring as was noted in the previous video and the wiring tests good and it keeps pointing to a faulty speed sensor but it doesn't set a code for the right side yet I have no signal from the right side as well so we're gonna install the left sensor or at least plug it in and scan it and see what happens. So I have plugged in that left speed sensor I haven't installed it in the knuckle yet. It should not be required to be installed. I'm going to clear the previous codes that are in the system. Click continue and give it a couple of seconds because that's all it normally took to set the fault code for the left side and then go in and read codes. Now I have no codes. Now it'll be interesting to see if I have a speed signal from the right side. So we're going to click on data and rear speed signal. Obviously I won't have one from the left because it's not installed but I'm curious as to whether or not I have one from the right. So I'm going to spin the rear wheels. Well, it's hard to spin them fast enough, but absolutely no signal from the right rear as well. So I'm going to install the left rear speed sensor and uh, go for a road test and see what happens. As I mentioned, I've just got the left side plugged in and hanging here. So now I need to route it over to this side here and remove the sensor from the knuckle. That's going to be interesting to see whether that comes out of there. Eh, maybe we'll get lucky. Could be a lucky day. So we'll have a look at data now. Let's go left rear, right rear. We're watching both because they both turn when I turn one wheel through the differential. So I definitely have a speed signal from the left rear now, but nothing from the right rear. So I guess we're going to put a speed sensor on the right rear as well. So I put the right speed sensor in, installed it as per, and uh, still got no speed signal from the right side. So I loosened off the axle shaft retaining nut and pushed the axle inboard so I can see the reluctor. And the reluctor looks like it's there. You can see that light brown ring on the inboard side of the axle there where it's rotating. I can't tell if it's peeled off or something but it doesn't look like it's damaged and it's certainly turning with the axle and it's not loose on the axle but I have no speed signal from the right rear. This is just crazy. How could we have two rear wheel speed sensor failures at the same time with different types of failures? One's the faulty sensor and the other one is starting to look like a reluctor problem. I don't get it. So we definitely have a left rear speed signal now, but no speed signal from the right rear. So did we misdiagnose this as a faulty speed sensor or did we install a defective speed sensor? I don't see anything wrong with the reluctor in there. It looks like it's on the axle shaft. So the only thing I can do is that I can think of rather than starting over from square one again is to connect the left rear speed signal wires to the right rear input at that connector in the trunk and see if it will then show up on the right rear. I know the left rear speed sensor works now so if I connect it to the right rear and I get a right rear signal that would theory, theoretically mean we have a defective sensor or a defective reluctor. I hope like hell it's not the reluctor because that axle shaft does not come out of there conveniently. Okay. So rather than try to switch them up here, I decided to take the left rear speed sensor out of the knuckle on that side because the wire is long enough and just route it over to this side. I've installed it in place of the right rear 
and pushed it in there and I still have no signal from it. So that theoretically means something has happened with that reluctor on the axle shaft, but it looks intact. Ay ay ay. I'm gonna have to compare it better to the other side. So there's the reluctor on the left rear. I loosened off the axle nut and you can actually see the reluctor that's inboard inside there. And on this side, if I look at it closer now, it's hard to see it, but that's not there or the outer ring is missing off of the reluctor. It's a magnetic tooth wheel. Yeah, for sure, it is missing. So how did that disappear, grind up into powder? Let me point to what I'm pointing at here. This is the reluctor right in here. Okay, there you see the CV joint and then the metal part of the CV joint and then the magnetic reluctor. Over on this side, put this back up here. What appears to be the magnetic reluctor is this piece here, but it's missing the outer surface of it right there. So this obviously has been an ongoing problem, although the customer said that everything happened at once. I, I queried her and I said, did you have a warning light on or warning lights about ABS prior to this transmission problem? And she said, no. Well, I'm going to put it back together as it is with the one functional left rear speed signal and go for a road test and see how this thing performs. So we're about to go for a road test with the scanner monitoring all four wheel speed sensor signals. Notice the traction control and ABS light or ABS and brake warning light flashing when I'm communicating with the ABS system. That's normal. I have no uh, T case message or traction control message. Let's see what happens. So, as you can see, I got no speed signal from the right rear, which is no surprise. Uh, no warning lights on on the dash. Transmission seems to function normally. Let's, uh, let's save this recording and then let's have a look at what codes it may have set now I would expect it would have set a code for the right rear no codes present well I'm gonna turn off ABS diagnostics and drive it for a few seconds with the with the scanner not communicating all right so we shouldn't have any warning lights on we're gonna go for a little road test like this now so I drove like a hundred yards and I got the T-case message, the stability control, the traction control and ABS message. Let's go in and see what codes it set. Right rear real speed comparative performance. Now that's the code we did have in history before but wouldn't come back. So that's an obviously a, a performance code and that makes sense because we have no speed signal but we don't have an electrical fault the left side was an electrical circuit fault. Just both of them happening simultaneously is pretty unusual. The customer didn't report any warning lights on prior to this transmission shifting issue. I'm going to see how it actually drives transmission wise with this right rear wheel speed comparative performance fault code. Well other than the T-case message and the warning lights on the transmission performs properly the brakes don't self-apply like they were before and uh, you could drive the car like this other than these warning messages and lights on so I'm starting to wonder if the customer may not have noticed these lights on prior to the second failure uh, which was like the straw that broke the camel's back so this thing needs an axle shaft or at least the axle shaft reluctor I'm not sure if the reluctor is serviceable separately to change that rear axle shaft is going to require disassembly of the rear suspension components which is going to be nasty because they're rusted and this thing's got over 200,000 kilometers on it in northern Ontario. So we're going to look into parts availability.